your comment about grandma being in the bosom of Abraham made me think about a time when I was having a discussion with a Roman Catholic and she was mentioning how um, her, I think she went to her mother's house after her mother was um, dead. Yeah. And she was doing something in the kitchen and there none of the windows were open. And then all of a sudden the teacups hanging on the little teacup holder on the wall started jangling. And she was, as a Roman Catholic, convinced that these were the spirits of like the spirit of her mother or um, oh, it's a demon. Whatever. And, and demons do that, so, by the way. Uh, they can move stuff. That is, is from those who had experience, they can take this thing up and they can throw it across the room. Um, they can even hit you if you put yourself in the wrong situation. Um, so making things make noise is like their favorite parlor trick. Mm -hmm. It's a parlor trick, though. This isn't supernatural. They're not walking on water. They're not healing maimed hands. They're... They're doing a parlor trick. It is supernatural, though. Yeah, for it's sure. really bizarre to me because um, I had never. Th the Ghostbusters was a a story. It wasn't yeah. something yeah. that was real. Yeah. And so to it then run into somebody who is a Roman Catholic and takes her faith seriously, but but it also mixed with a lot of leaven, <laughs> like this idea funny. that my mom can talk to me. Right. right, which you know, which right. the cult of the that saints was... actually maybe encourages that kind of nonsense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, but for for those first off, for those who are modernistically opposed to the idea that demons exist, like that you just we just live in this world where they don't ever do anything, they're not going to show you that they're there. They like to hide. They'd rather sit on your TV and just kind of wait until they can like convince you through whatever whatever you're watching to watch more of it kind of thing, right? They just want to deceive you. They want to make you feel like, so you're watching your TV and you're like, I would like to, um, I would like to read the Bible. And they're like, no, you wouldn't. And you're like, no, I wouldn't. You know, so, so that's, that's the attack they're going to take um, as opposed to um, back in the day, like the haunting, the disturbing thing. Um, they're going to do that to somebody who is not modern thinking, but expects that there are powers in the universe. And they're going to try to convince you that they'll help you. Right. And they're going to try to convince you that they're they're on your side. And then you have the fact that as a Christian who firmly believes that they're evil, they're not going to show you anything. They're not going to show up and try to like do anything in your house. Like you've got angels all over the place. Like they're just, you know, you're holy and shining with the blood of Jesus. So like they just, you're safe from them. It's, but they could be in other places you go. Right. Um, and particularly in places where great evil has been done, where they have been worshiped directly or indirectly, where innocent blood has been shed, right? Um, that kind of thing. Uh, so, uh, yeah, one of the things that um, it would seem from the book of How Swept Clean, and I, I, I really don't want to know what to make of this, but um, praying over salt in the name of Jesus and then using the salt can actually create holy spaces. Super weird. Not sure it's good. Can't recommend yet. Um, same thing with like baptismal water, holy water um, would appear to have, like they don't like it. So if you've got someone who's demon possessed and you bring a vial of holy water behind them, they might get upset and know it's there, right? That's the kind of thing that some people have practiced and seen. Now, here's the reason I share this. Like you're a Christian, you walk in, you're baptized, you are the holy water, okay? Um, you don't need to use the the, the water to show it off. Just, just know where you go. You carry that holy water as the name of Jesus with you everywhere, the washing of regeneration everywhere. Um, I'm not saying go become an exorcist and try to scare out the demons. I'm saying, don't be afraid of it. Don't worry about it. And especially if you're ever in a moment where stuff starts happening, know that the solution is to pray the Psalms you've memorized mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus out loud. And they will, they won't, they're not going to do it. They don't want, they don't want to be seen. They don't want to be cast out. Right. Uh, the only time they're making a lot of noise is like Jesus and Paul. And then what they're trying to do is, so now you have someone who, who is possessed, who isn't going to be like, I'm possessed. Instead, they're going to be like, you're this thing that does that. And they're going to start calling you names, right? Like, and, and that's to distract the other people that are around you and keep them from trusting or listening to you. 